Hello everyone, I am Shobhan Dev, TA of EE6102. Today, we will learn geometric drawing using variable dimensions in the tutorial 2 of the tutorial on NC's Maxwell 2D series. So, let us start. So, this is the Maxwell uh, 2D environment and today we will draw the same drawing as of the previous tutorial, tutorial that is tutorial 1 but here you can see the dimensions are not the absolute dimensions unlike the tutorial 1 the dimensions are here variables so we have defined 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 variables here so to start, we have to first define all the six variables in Maxwell 2D. So, let us start. For this, go to Maxwell 2D, then design for properties, then add. So, the first variable is HC. So, give the name as HC. Then unit type length, units is automatically selected as millimeter, value any value I am taking as 24, press ok. Similarly add other variables, I am adding one by one. So, all the six variables has have been added here. Press OK. So, here we will start the drawing. First, like the previous tutorial, we will start drawing from the outer square and also our symmetry point will be the origin. So, first we need to mention uh, the starting X point. Now, for this, we will just take the rectangle and draw an arbitrary rectangle of any dimension. Now, to rename the rectangle as core. Now under core there, there is create rectangle, double click on that, and then go to this position tab, here make it as hc by 2, that is the x coordinate of first point, the one y coordinate will be hc by 2, then size of x will be hc, that means length along x axis length along y axis will be minus hc press ok the rectangle has been created then go here click on fit all you can see it is the code that is the square after that we will make the smaller rectangle so here it is origin 
and the width of one limb will be here hc minus 2 into w w by 3 and if that is the width of one limb half of that will be the x coordinate of this line so first make it go to maxwell 2d design properties add one more variable as width of limb wl then length so in value we can write here uh, hc minus 2 into ww hc minus 2 into ww this will be within bracket uh by 3 hc minus 2 into ww by 3 yeah so click ok yeah w l is evaluated as 4 millimeter just okay now take a rectangle draw a rectangle of any dimension rename it as window 1 enter then double click on create rectangle the first x position will be if we can see here the first x position will be hmm, uh, wl by 2 that means width of limb by 2 and the first y, posi y position will be hw by 2 so wl by 2 y will be hw hw by 2 okay and size of size along x axis it will be ww size along y axis it will be minus hw apply okay so the smaller rectangle has been created after that we will make the smallest rectangles so for this the x coordinate will be w l by 2 plus uh, w n g and the y coordinate will be h w n by 2 let us do that select rectangle draw a rectangle with any dimension rename it to winding press enter Double click on create rectangle. Sorry, this will be under winding. Then double click on create rectangle in the position right x position that is WL by 2 plus what is the variable here? It is WNG. Yes, WNG. Y coordinate will be uh, HWN by 2. HWN by 2. 0 is 0. Size of X, that means length along X axis, it will be. WWN w n along y axis it will be minus h w n h w n that's right okay yes the rectangle has been created now we need to duplicate these things this uh, rectangle along x axis for this we will select it first 
then we'll select a long line click here we need to select the base point that is 0 tab 0 tab 0 enter then the distance then distance means then first we will do any arbitrary position let's click uh, on any point on the positive x-axis I am clicking here so see the total number is already 5 we need 5 so it is right then press ok so the windings has been created these are the winding windings has been created then you can see the sp uh, space between two adjacent windings are not accurate and we need to specify that using the variable so for that we started our duplication from this winding that is named as winding expand this you can see duplicate along line here double click on that then you can see in vector it is written as 4 here you write this spacing that means the space between this point and this point it is wwn plus wng write it here wwn plus wng okay yes so this is now okay okay so now we need to uh, duplicate in through mirror like the previous one that means previous tutorial so select all the windings in the window select through mirror here specify the base point 0 tap 0 tap 0 enter then select any point along that means on minus x axis click on it the duplication has been done the second window and the windings has been created rename the second window as winding uh, window 2 enter now we need to subtract the two windows from the code select code press control window 1 window 2 go to subtract the window 1 and window 2 will be subtracted from code press ok the model is ready now we need to verify the integrity of our model let us do the okay let us do that go to maxwell 2d design properties if we change the hc to suppose 28 and press on apply see it is changing now if i change to height of window as 20 press on apply see it is changing anything any defined variable if you want to change any variable then it will be changed accordingly as it has been made using the expressions and the variables so make it like the first one Okay. Yes. So this is how we will draw any uh, user defined drawing which the dimension of which can be uh, given as the input from the user. So if you have any doubt regarding these or previous or any of the videos you can contact me. Thank you.